While walking around Samsung boot at CES 2019, I noticed that all of their TVs were 8K displays. Also, some of their frame TVs were in the show. And of course, the beautiful wall. If you wanted to see their 4K TVs, you will have to be invited to a special innovation room, which of course, I was not invited. So, I decided to put together information I gathered from different sources in this video. Welcome to the channel guys, I'm Jolster and let's find out what's new with Samsung's 2019 4K TVs. In 2018, Samsung introduced very awesome gaming features to the QLED TVs. Things like Game Motion Plus, FreeSync 2, Auto Low Game Latency, and the ability to play with 1440p and 120 hertz. Also, some of their top models like the Q8FN and Q9FN are full array with local dimming, which of course have excellent black levels and beautiful picture. So I was thinking, what else could Samsung improve on these TVs? Well, HDMI 2.1 is not confirmed just yet, even though we already have some of its features, but there are plenty of cool new improvements to talk about. One of them is the viewing angle problems LCD TVs have. It seems that Samsung has a solar problem without causing any reduction in black levels, something that we saw on Sony's Z9F Master Series TVs last year. It seems that Samsung has introduced a hardware local dimming system that's backed into the TV's chipset rather than software only. That in combination with wide viewing angle QLEDs, Samsung will finally be able to compete with OLED displays. This type of local dimming didn't affect the high brightness levels of QLED TVs offer. On the contrary, bright objects look more intense than last year's Q9FM, which is great. Another improvement is the new upscaling processing Samsung is introducing to the new 4K QLEDs. It is the same system they developed for the 8K models. Apparently, they seem to reduce jaggedness around edges, as well as more detail, sharp and dense looking picture. It also has a component dedicated to address the bandwidth of streaming sources. This is good if you enjoy Netflix or Amazon Prime or other streaming services. Gaming has also received improvements. Input lag has been reduced to 13.4 milliseconds, which is great for fast paced games. And there is a new dynamic black EQ, which lets you adjust the brightness of the darkest part of a video game picture without it affecting the brightness or color tone of the rest of the picture. So this feature seems to be very helpful in dark games without affecting the picture to be overexposed. Another improvement is the addition support of two Apple features, AirPlay 2 and iTunes Movies and TV Store as a built-in app. So there is no need to buy an Apple TV unit if you have a new Samsung TV or even a 2018 model, which will receive the same feature via update. There are also improvements in the smart system, such as improved navigation and customization options, and some other features like building Office 365 support, remote PC access, and screen sharing with your laptop that lets you control the cursor on the TV screen using mouse and keyboard. Well guys, these new and improved 2019 QLED TVs seem to be very promising. As for the moment, I don't have any pricing or availability, but Samsung will be revealing more details around March, and I will keep you guys updated when I find out more information. Well, that's it for me right now, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of videos. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.